Hello everyone, it's Justine. Today I'm going to make a very pretty pink card and I am using a number of different products but mainly featuring the Sweetheart Envelope note card set. Sorry, Sweetheart Envelope and note card set. So this is the Amazing Paper Grace or APG Die of the Month from Spellbinders for December 2022. So it makes this really pretty envelope and I'm just going to kind of do my own thing with it as if you will. Um, the die itself is mainly this envelope and okay by the way envelope envelope I say it both ways we've gone through this before so my apologies if that bothers you but that's just my <laughs> that's just me anyway <clears throat> it has the envelope and it has these little um, note cards that go inside of it kind of like that and it does come with this very beautiful heart die that is quite intricate and as I was looking at it here getting ready for this video I thought perhaps you could stitch around the edge so that kind of spurred up a little creativity so sometimes when you just kind of get into a a stumped moment with card making you just kind of look at it and go what else could I do with this and that's exactly what happened with this and ideas were coming so because this envelope is a little bit larger than what I was kind of thinking it was originally I went ahead and cut the back of the envelope and I took some length off so when you die cut it it looks something like this and it has a little more length to it because it's meant to fold over and perhaps fold like this but I wanted it to fit on one of my A2 size cards and now technically the card base is an A2 but this background paper is a little larger so I actually put my double-sided tape on the card base and now I'm going to put the card base onto the card back which is a little backwards than usual but <clears throat> it's basically because I need this background piece to be a little bit bigger than an A2 size card but as it is on there when it's set up it doesn't it's not crooked or anything it does sit back just a little bit but it's not really a big deal at all so now that I have that all done I will just mention this background paper is just some pink cardstock and I used this embossing folder which is one of the 3d embossing folders it's 3d 034 and this is one that I reach for quite often this came with my platinum so for all of my die cutting I love using my Spellbinders Platinum. I have the 8 inch and I thought at first maybe I could just use the 6 inch because I don't work with a lot of things that are bigger than that but now that I have the 8 inch I love it. It is definitely worth the little extra dough that you spend on it because it gives you a, a couple inches longer to work with and it is so perfect for die cutting so if you're looking for a die cutting machine I would recommend the 8 inch platinum so you can see how this envelope when it's on my card to me I like seeing the border around and I like the layered borders so that's why I needed to go a little bit larger than a2 this pink paper is the a2 size so it's just about an eighth of an inch longer or wider taller however you want to think about it on all of the sides so not too dramatically different than usual but just enough so let's see it will fit on here and this goes kind of inside as a filler So to me, the top is the most important to get centered. So I'm going to start from the top down. And to adhere this piece on to the top, I'm going to use my liquid glue <coughs> and just adhere it on. I think liquid glue is a little bit more friendly with some of the intricate dyes like this top part because 
I can get into all those little nooks and crannies or at least some of them and make sure that everything is sticking down and not coming off. But I guess if you wanted to use double-sided tape, you could, but I think this, especially this gable area up here, I think that that would probably come off. Again, looking at these holes, I think that this could be something you could stitch. You would just kind of do a back stitch around the top, which is kind of neat. Perhaps I will try that in the future. Oh, and I put glue on the bottom, but I'm just gluing the top, so awesome. Gluey hands. All right, so now that that's on top, I'm going to quickly stick the bottom on before my glue dries. So I'm just gonna line up where I cut off that length and make sure that that is as seamless as possible. Probably won't be perfect, but what is perfect anyway. Now, since this part will be hidden, I'm just going to cut it off. I'm really not worried about how neat it will look because it is hidden. I'm just worrying, working on piecing the seam together. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna leave this in the video because <laughs> I'm gonna leave my mistake here in this video, so <laughs> maybe it will help someone who's new to crafting or someone who is a crafter realize that it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't think that anything in the card world needs to be perfect. And even if you look at some of the big card maker people on YouTube, Instagram, etc., they have mistakes too, <laughs> just like us little guys. Perfect. All right, so now I'm going to wrap this top part around. So to do that, I'll just put some glue on the back area here and fold the tabs over. Now this envelope as itself could be a beautiful present or you can put it with a gift itself for Valentine's Day or for anniversary wedding. All of these lovey-dovey cards kind of have several occasions that could work for it, but you could see that that would be so sweet to put a little message in there, give it to somebody. You don't even have to fold it in half, and you'd be good to go. What was I going to do with that? Uh, speaking of mistakes, I was going to put this behind that gabled area, like so, but Okay, sera sera, because um, that means whatever will be will be um, in Spanish. But this really does not. <laughs> there's no way I'm getting that off. So we're just gonna go with it. Again, mistakes are okay. <laughs> oh, this is going so well. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to put down my envelope onto my card. It's really a good example of just going with it. That looks right to me. Now I am going to use these are going to be what I envision for these is kind of like a little ticket. So you can, I imagine someone writing on here like, good for one car wash and you could give this to someone with similar things in there and they can give it to you and say I'd like my car wash please and then um, whoever <laughs> you give it to could um, use that so I, I look at these as little tickets even though on the die they're called the note card set but you could either even write on there like I love you because and have a number of reasons of why you love them and then stick it in this little envelope. Or you could even just put the heart inside the envelope like this and then put a sentiment on the outside. I am actually going to put the heart on the front of the envelope just to dress it up a little bit. But I love the frilliness of this die. I think it is beautiful. It reminds me kind of like a doily and I'm a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> So around 
Valentine's Day, we use a lot of doilies with our little arts and crafts projects at school, so it just reminds me of that <laughs> in the best way. Now that that is on, oh. <clears throat> I loved the layer look. I really wish I would have put that other pink paper behind here, but that is life. I'm just going to try to get over it here <laughs> as I glue on my heart, but maybe I'll make another one with it behind there. Another idea that was just kind of coming into my head here as I was putting on my heart was taking the stamp from, this is the stamp of the month for December that kind of coordinates with everything here. You could take some of these smaller sentiments and stamp them onto these little note cards, or you could take them and use something like that to go across this heart or on top of the envelope or even stamp inside of the card. I don't really stamp a lot inside of the cards, but to each their own. Um, but it's just another way to kind of use what you have here from the monthly collection to make something that kind of coordinates. So to add a little bling to this card, I'm going to use some of my gems that I have here. I think these were from one of the card kits and I just, I guess I never used them or I had an extra set. I'm not sure. Sometimes I will pick up some of these gem packs if they are on clearance from the Spellbinders website and have them on hand because I think they are just perfect. They have the little glue dots on the back already. So I just take my little tool in one here and pop it on and it's really can't get easier than that and it adds a little little shine and sparkle to the card without being too much. If you can see it really closely, they have gold foiling inside of the gem. Hopefully that's coming across on camera. Anyway, all right, well, I am going to leave this kind of open-ended. Like I said, I probably will write on here, good for one car wash or um, prep a freezer meal. I might give this to um, a family member. We shall see, but for now I'll just let it be. That was not intentional <laughs> on my rhyming, but anyway, <laughs> that is my finished card. If you're interested in seeing what else I've made with this stamp set, I do have a couple cards that I've made for this month, I will just kind of show you the corners because I don't really want to give away everything because if you're interested, you can check out some videos here, but you can kind of see a little sneak peek of those. But if you're interested in seeing what else I've made, check out my channel. I If you just click on the little picture that I have, my logo, I guess, if you click on my logo in the corner of this video, it should be around here somewhere. Um, on the screen that will bring you right to my channel and you can see some of the videos that I've made. I will have just two this month with I will have just two this month with the card kit and um, several other ones for the stamp and the small die which is a stitch die this month which is so fun and I just I love stitching so Anyway, I'll just stop rambling now, and um, if you've liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!